Welcome back YouTubers, and I have to say I've missed doing YouTube videos so much and I'm really really glad I can be as active as I want to be now. Um, I'm really really enjoying being back and thank you all so much, I've had like so many subs in the last like two weeks, it's crazy. So it's really really nice to see you guys um, enjoying my videos and it's really making me want to make more. Uh, I tried to do like a live face cam stuff the other day, but not only has my camera broken, like I have a DSLR and the like lens, like the little bits in the lens that turn the glass have actually like cracked inside it. So when you turn, all you hear is it. Go it's not good. Um, so that's broken. I've also lost the cable to connect to my PC. So I was just like, oh, it's okay. I'll do some webcam ones. So after lots and lots of hassle of figuring out how to resize the webcam window in Windows 8 because it's an app and it just opens it up on your whole screen, so I couldn't Camtasia it with the rest of my showdown or rest of my capture card screen. So after I finally figured out how to do that, I recorded a battle and it was really, really good and the live narration was good and I was really pleased with it. And I was just, I whacked it in the editor and I recorded the whole thing with the um, Camtasia set to record the computers in game sound, like the sound that the PC produces, which is what I have, I have which is the setting that I have it on when I record from my capture card because it records all the in game sound like flawlessly and clear. Um, so it didn't record from my microphone at all, so I was just completely on mute, and I was really, really upset, because it was a really, really good battle, and it was really close. Well, it was kind of close. And, um, then I tried to do another battle, and that battle, I just, it was just a new person that challenged me, and I pretty much just 6 0 the whole team, and felt really bad, so I didn't want to upload that one. And then the third one, I'm pretty sure there was a DC somewhere along the lines, and then after that, it had taken me ages to keep getting these battles, it was hours it took me to keep finding a battle. And when I finally, like, after that, I just couldn't be bothered to do it anymore, so I just decided I'd finish up the ones I've got the versus recorders of already. I have, um... A Togekiss sweep, a Venomoth sweep, a Heracross sweep, um, two or three other close battles that I have saved already, and three battle spot battles. Um, so I'm just going to narrate over those, not do any more battles until I finish doing these, and then I promise I will get my uh, face cam live battle started and um, my face cam team build started. Uh, for the team builds, I actually had an idea where I will go, go through the builds on Showdown and then paste the Showdown... Um, the showdown set in the description, but I will also link to all six QR codes of the whole team, so you can just like boop, get the whole team without even have to build it. If you you haven't got a new DS and if your DS hasn't been updated, if it has, then unfortunately I can't help you. But I will have the set obviously in the description, so you can just build one like that if you are interested. So um, long intro out of the way. That's like a two minute intro, so I'm going to shut up now and um, just get into the battle. I hope you guys like this battle. It's really really close against a really powerful team that I wasn't expecting. So many changes are to be made to my team. Florgrez has now been replaced by a Klefki. Um, Azumarill needs to have Waterfall or Ice Punch. Togekiss, I need a better Togekiss. And Alteria, I'm going to make a physical Alteria. So um, the, the this team is going to be changing a lot after this. So I hope you guys enjoy this battle anyway. This is now a three minute intro. I'm just going to get into it and... Uh, kind of shut up now, so uh, let's just get into it. Uh, when this person actually challenged me, um, I had no idea who they were. I thought they were someone else who was challenging me at the same time. And I was just like, oh, uh, good game and stuff on Facebook. And they were like, um, that wasn't me. So it was kind of really awkward. But then the actual person I was battling popped up on Facebook. I was like, oh, it was a really good game. I was like, yeah, it was really good. So uh, anyway, they're going to lead out with low penny. Obviously, mega, fake out, get the stats, and then just bail out. So that is pretty much what this opening is going to do. Uh, it's just going to go straight up for fake out, which is going to do a decent amount of damage because it's staff and it's got um, an attack, a slight attack boost as well. And um, I'm going to flinch, which is going to suck. Um, like the flinch master gets flinched. Uh, so I'm just going to get some battery recovery from that anyway. And because uh, I'm bulky, I don't really mind taking that much at all. I'm going to swap into Heatran on my Dazzling Gleam, which is a quad resist. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's a bulky Heatran as well. And, uh, well, that's the damage. That's the most damage output ever. <laughs> so um, that really didn't go as well as I was hoping it to. Um, I should have ideally really thought about what their team was. I didn't think of taking a photo of their team like some people do. I just kind of went straight into the battle. Um, so that kind of really sucked. Again, they weren't the person I was expecting to battle, so I wasn't expecting this team at all. 
So anyway, I'm gonna go for an aura sphere for some, for some super effective damage, and they're gonna go for a toxic. Unfortunately, this Togekiss is not running heal bell. I'm gonna make one that's running heal bell. I'm thinking of making a defensive one with um, heal bell and thunder wave and all that kind of shenanigans. I don't want to make like a horrible one that flinches and stuff, but sometimes it can be really useful, so I might do. So I'm gonna get um, toxic damage that's gonna start and gonna swap out because I do not want to have um, this thing stall me. I don't know whether it's got protect or anything like that, so I'm gonna swap out and go into my Flogres. Um, he's gonna swap out as well, or she's gonna swap out and um, go into Landorus. The, the in-game icons are she, so I'm just gonna call her she and hope it's a she. So I, they're gonna intimidate me and uh, set up some stealth rocks, which really kind of sucks. Um, I, for some reason, I thought this thing may be um, special, even though I know it was physical, so I, I don't even know why I thought that. I'm gonna go for the heal bell anyway to heal up my Togekiss. I kind of wanted to show them that I had heal bell as well, so they thought, oh, toxic spamming is probably not the best idea because I have heal bell. I have heal bell on two Pokemon, and I hopefully will have heal bell on three Pokemon when I finish um, perfecting this team. So I'm gonna go for Carmine anyway, completely oblivious to the fact that it's not gonna go for U turn and it is just gonna go for an earthquake or something which kind of really sucks, he does go for an earthquake, she does go for an earthquake, sorry, and um, it's going to do a really, really massive amount, I'm going to live on 10 health, which is quite impressive, and I'm going to fire off a plus one Moonblast, which does pretty solid damage, if only I had a bit more special attack, even though I am max special attack, that could have hopefully got the KO, but it didn't, unfortunately, so I'm forced to swap out, I'm going to bring in my Altaria, hopefully on a U-turn, because I was on such low HP, that that was kind of what I was pretty going to go for, and they do go for the which is good, that um, I'm going to resist that, even though I'm not Mega, I'm still going to resist it because I'm flying, and um, he's going to swap out anyway. So uh, Altaria is looking fabulous and golden, so I'm really, really going to get rid of this Altaria and replace it with a physical one with Dragon Dance, because this one is not really working out that great for me. I'm going to swap out here and go back into my Flogress, just as Death Bodder, so I can avoid that fake out. Um, I don't really want the extra fake out damage, so... Lippy is going to go for a fake out here, but obviously because Flora has died swapping in, it's not going to be able to fake out, and it can't fake out again, uh, because it was first turn only. So then I'm going to swap into my Azumarill. Um, I was hoping I could scare this thing out with a play rough, and that it would just swap out, but they actually end up going for a return, and I was crazy surprised that I survived this. I know I'm quite a bulky Azumarill, but I really wasn't expecting to survive. So I'm going to go for a play rough there, easily going to be able to take it out. I'm going to finish physical defense isn't the best, and huge power and fairy typing was always in my favor there. I'm starting to really, really love Azumarill because obviously it's a water type, so I love it. And it's just so cute. I just love him so much. So he's going to bring in the um, superior, and I'm going to swap out of there because I know this thing is going to be one of those contrary ones now that they're legal. And I've always been kind of concerned about superior, even though it wasn't legal because there were many ways to go through anyway. So they're going to go for the leaf storm which I'm gonna resist four times because I'm a flying dragon type currently. Uh, he's still gonna get this two special attack boost, which is scary, and the life orb recoil as well. Um, I just had to go for a mega here, um, mainly because I just wanted to be able to hit it a little bit harder with my hyper voice. Obviously, hyper voice wasn't gonna be stabbed if I didn't mega evolve, and thank god I went for a mega because he was gonna go for a dragon pulse, which would have easily taken out my Altaria. Um, I'm guessing they didn't actually know I was Mega because the two times I brought Altaria in I didn't have a chance to actually Mega Revolve anyway. So I'm going to go for the Roost there. They're going to go for a, another Storm at plus two and the Life Orb as well. I still resist it but I don't resist it by four times like I did before and it's doing it much more much more damage than it did before. Um, and obviously I only resist it by one times and because I'm very slow and um, also because I'm Mega my Mega stats have actually um, slightly dropped my defense which kind of really sucks. So I'm gonna go for a Toxic anyway, because this is actually a Toxic Storly kind of Altaria. I've got Toxic Heal Bell, Hyper Voice, and Roost. I'm gonna go for another Roost. I Fortunately, I do avoid that Leaf Storm there. Um, he was going for an, oh, she was going for another Leaf Storm, and it was gonna probably have taken me out really easily, so I'm quite happy that that missed. Um, but then again, they had to kind of nerf Leaf Storm. They couldn't make it land all the time, because it was just people way too OP. I do just about survive. Um, he's gonna... I think he's at plus six now. Uh, special attack. I'm gonna go for a hyper voice, which with the poison does take it out. If it wasn't for that poison, then I wouldn't have been able to take it out that turn and I would have lost my Altaria, which would have really, really sucked. But um, fortunately, thanks to that toxic, I am gonna be able to take out the superior out. And in comes the heat round again. I'm pretty sure this thing isn't running flash cannon at this point. I was I really didn't know what its uh, fourth move was. I'm gonna go for a roost anyway, because I'm gonna write speed. Um, 
and I kind of knew that it didn't really have too much for me, but it's going to go for a Toxic, and I'm pretty much fine with that because, like I said, I do have Heal Bell, so I don't really have to worry about him Toxicing me, and he can go for Toxic as many times as he likes, so I'm still going to Heal Bell off my Poison damage. So, the Toxic is going to take a little bit of my damage there, and um, I'm going to go for the Heal Bell. A Bell is going to chime and bring the lovely, healthy things my way and then I'm not gonna die. They're gonna go for an earth power and I'm just like, earth power? I'm still, I'm in the sky, I'm quite obviously flying, yeah, though I'm not a flying type. But I guess they could, like Electros, how is Electros levitating and um, Golden Fleece isn't? But yeah, I, I don't understand. So um, I'm gonna go for a roost anyway and get like loads and loads of HP. They're gonna go for another earth power. So their earth power toxic lava plume and I really didn't know what their other move was but it actually turns out to be raw later on in the match. I'm gonna keep going for roosts. I wanted to get up to a decent amount of HP that I could swap out so I roost myself up and then decided to swap out and go into my slurper and uh, I thought it was pretty safe to swap out. I was like he's not gonna go for a toxic again is he? But no he actually does go for another toxic so um Slurpuff is going to take that toxic damage which really kind of sucks as uh, Slurpuff doesn't have aromatherapy even though it can learn it it's not like I wanted to put a heal bell on my whole team I thought two of them was enough and I'm going to put a heal bell on two because as well so that'll be three but people still want to status me all the time anyway they're going to swap out um, possibly fearing the surf I don't know if they know that I have surf but uh, I'm going to go for the calm mind here and get my special attack and special defense boosts which is really what I need. Special slurp is amazing. You guys should try it. If you just run the physical set, then you should really try the special set because special slurp is really, really good as well. Um, I'm going to swap out because Tentacle rules every single walls, even every single one of the attacks that I have being Flame Fairy, Draining Kills, and Surf. So I'm going to swap into Sylveon. I knew this a Sludge Bomb or something was coming, but I was not expecting an Acid Spray, which is actually going to drop my special defense by two stages, I think. Yep partially, which is two I think, and um, he's going to go for another acid spray, and I'm, I'm really bulky but that damage is crazy, and I'm going to get the other special defense drops as well, but Sylveon is amazing, and Choice Spec Psyshock is going to easily OKO the Tentacruel, see you later, weird tentacle thing with the Squidward nose, Sylveon don't want none of your shit, she's going to strangle you with the ribbons. So <laughs> in comes Landorus, he's going to go for the Intim not going to go for the Intimidate, he's going to drop the Intimidate and go for a U-turn. Um, I didn't really mind, I didn't want to swap out my Sylveon here, I could have done, but didn't really see much of a point, because uh, there, there were rocks up and stuff, so I was just going to land this um, Psyshock on whatever came in, which is going to be the Heatran, uh, which obviously does resist, which is sucky, but Spec Psyshock still did a pretty decent amount to this thing. Um, considering how bulky it is and the fact that it's resisted. It's going to get some lefties recovery and I'm, I think I, if it is um, a double drop then I'm at minus four special effects. So it's easily going to take me out with this lava poo. Where, whereas I don't think it would have done before. So Ribbons is going to go down which is really sad for me to see because she's like totally my new favourite thing ever. I uh, really really love Sylvia and I've really grown to love it as well. But I'm going to swap into my Zoom room here. Um, I was trying to scare this thing out with like a waterfall even though I don't actually have it at this point. Um, I really, I, I should have gone for knockoff, but I actually misclicked and went for superpower, which was the worst thing ever because I knew that they'd swap out and I, oh, I was so frustrated that I didn't go for knockoff and I really, really wanted to. I'm actually going to take superpower off because I never really use it and I don't really want to use it half the time. So I, not only am I going to get, I'm on half attack now because of the Nintendo and the superpower drop, but the Rocky Hammer damage as well, I could have just knocked off and I would have been fine. But So I'm going to have to go for the Aqua Jet to finish this thing off and obviously the recoil from the Rocky Hammer is going to take out my Azumarill. So it's kind of a Pokemon for Pokemon, but I really, really didn't want to lose my Azumarill if I would just gone for that knockoff. Then I wouldn't have had to lose it and I'd have still had an Aqua Jet at least in me. Or a play rough for this Concordia. The Concordia is going to swap in now and I'm going to go back into my Altaria. It's going to take some stealth rock damage but that's okay. Um, don't take too much from it so that's alright. I'm going to go for a heal belt to heal up my Slurpuff. Who I really need to heal up because she's the only thing I have really for the heat Heatran. Um, it's going to go for a nice punch which I was really expecting to kill me even though I am defensive but I do just survive on 20 HP and they decided to go for a mag punch 
Even though I outsped them. No, even though they outsped me, I think. Oh no, I did outspeed them. So I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice, which is going to do a really, really decent amount of damage, and they're going to go for another Mad Punch, which is uh, going to take me out. My beautiful Cotton Cloud is going to go down, which is really sad because I love her so much as well. I've really, really grown to love Fairy types now. I really, really like this team. Although it does need a couple of changes and stuff, I, I do really like all the designs of the Pokemon. Um, I'm going to go for an S-Lash to finish this thing off because I'm going to outspeed it anyway. And it, there's no way they would go for Mac Punch because I would quad resist it and it would do literally nothing. So they were better off at least attempting to go for a Ice Punch and see what would happen, which I'm pretty sure is what they probably did. So uh, Ava's going to, you know, kick Conquer her ass and... <laughs> air slash it and finish it off. In comes the Heatran, I'm just going to go for air slashes. Um, I was hoping I could just like spam it and flinch it, but then I realised how little air slash was doing, so then I just decided to go for RS3 instead, because RS3 is obviously going to do more damage. But while I was thinking about doing that, they're going to go for another Toxic on me, which again, I, I don't really see why, but this is her, his, his her, it's last Pokemon, and um, they're obviously going to want to try and stall out the rest of my team. Although I think at this point I have three Pokemon left. I haven't done any editing on this, so I can't tell how many Pokemon I have left, but I think I have three. Uh, so I'm going to go for Sphere, which is um, going to do a pretty nice amount of damage. Uh, much more than anything else on my team has been doing to it so far. So I'm going for a Lava Plume. Um, you can't really burn me or anything because I'm poisoned. Although I would much rather be burned in this kind of situation than Toxic because obviously I can roost off a burn and stuff and keep myself healthy, whereas Toxic is going to get worse and worse and worse. If you stay in on Toxic for too long, it can literally just like half HP you with one turn. It's that bad. Um, I don't know if any of you know, do, um, does like Toxic have a limit to how bad it gets or does it just keep on getting worse? Like, could it, I don't know, could it get so bad that it can't get any worse? If any of you guys know, I'd like to know. You can comment in the section below. Hey, that kind of rhymed. I'm on fire today. So anyway, they're going to go for another Lava Plume. At least I think that was a Lava Plume. I was distracted by being a master of rhymes. Uh, he's going to get some Lefty's Recovery. I'm going to take some Toxic Damage. I'm pretty sure I'm going to roost up at this point. I don't mind losing Altaria, but I don't want to lose it just yet. Because I was kind of fearing this thing may have had rest. I was like, please don't rest, because that would be the worst of any anyway. But he shows the fourth move, which is actually Roar. So... Uh, that's going to drag out my slurp off, which is perfect for me because I just roosted up. It was going to stop my stop, stop my toxic, stop my toxic from wrapping up and give me a free swap into slurp off. So that worked out really, really well for me. As slurp off obviously has the super effective surf. I'm just going to go straight for the surf because I don't know how well I would take a lava plume or anything. So I'm just going to go for the surf. I act speed anyway. He's going to go for a toxic. Or she's going to go. For, I keep referring to him as a he. I feel really bad. Uh, they're going to go for a toxic and. Um, some left is recovery but it's not going to be enough i know this thing doesn't have protect and uh, we've seen it's last move is raw and I, unless it spams raw although raw is myra's priority anyway they couldn't really win at this point so i'm going to go for a serve and um i just about take this thing out part of me thought it would survive but it does actually take it out so that is going to be the end of the heat round and um that was the end of the match i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, sorry that I kept calling you a dude, because I'm pretty sure you're a girl, because your icon's a girl. But then again, there's lots of guys that have girl icons. So anyway, thank you for the battle. It was a really, really good battle. Really close. That superior is amazing. And uh, battle in this battle has made me see weaknesses in my team that I need to change. For example, Alteria really could do with Earthquake for that Tentacruel and for the Heatran. That would be awesome. So I'm going to definitely make a physical Alteria after this match. Well after I've narrated all these other ones as well, you'll probably see that change in my team. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you around. Goodbye!